Right, I'm here and um, I'm going to do a little bit of life crafting with a couple of tips that um, I've recently done um, whilst crafting and I thought, oh, that's really good. I will show you. So, making Christmas cards and I wanted to make some quick sentiments, um, light little ones. Um, I did it there in uh, copper embossing and I wanted to get them out. Uh, do them quickly and um, I don't have a little happy Christmas sentiment but what I do have is the the wish for everything stamp set I've got a happy there and I've got a Christmas so I wanted to make this and I wanted to um, it's quite hard to line up the two little stamps so I thought I'll use my stamparatus and I'll line them up so a little bit of trial and error I got them lined up um, so that they stamp quite nicely and quite straight and then I thought how am I going to get that onto that that's sort of easy because stamping it in there that you know and I got a piece of cardstock that you shove in there and you stamp on that's going to be sort of long-winded and take quite a long time so what I did was I stamped it I've got this is um, 300 GSM so it's quite thick card not stamping up um, and so what I did was stamped it on this, like so, and then using the classic label punch, I then punched it out. So I went along there and punched it out. So then I had a template. So now what I've done is I've punched out loads of these. Well, I haven't. I've punched out, I've punched out about half a dozen and I've done some. And uh, so now I can make sure that's butted up. I can put my cardstock in the hole. I can get me little magnet and just hold the corner in place. I've got a little ink spot here. I can ink up. And I can stamp. And there it is perfectly placed and then I can easily do another so if I was doing batch making Christmas cards then this takes no time at all to do that's my little tip hope you liked it I was quite chuffed with myself <laughs> so there we go so there's that one and uh, then my other one, which I have done in a video, you might have seen my video where I showed you this box and this bow. Now previously I would have made this bow either with the bow builder punch or the envelope punch board. And um, we haven't got the envelope punch board anymore. So I'm using the tag, uh, the triple banner punch. Okay, so the way I made this, this was made with a strip uh, of cardstock, but you can do it with DSP. The first time I tried it, I used it with some of last year's DSP. So this is the bird um, ballad paper. I'm going to use this dotty pink side, and you do need your scoreboard, and you're going to score it in the middle at three, and then one a quarter from each side. Okay, and I am going to try it on a slightly bigger one just to see what that might be like. And then on the back, I get my ruler and I'm going to mark in pencil because it's um, one inch. I'm going to mark, you've got your, your half an inch there in the middle. I'm going to go quarter of an inch either side of oops of that mark this is when I kind of wish I had my glasses on and we do that on each of these score lines so that they are all in the same position 
like so. And then you take your triple banner punch and you put it through the slot there and you can see the pencil marks and so you put the pencil mark into the point make sure your score line straight and punch move it along do the same at the next one get in punch and then the third line which I can't see where's my third line oh it's because it's on the branch it's on that branch don't not wearing glasses and punch and then flip it the other way and repeat And then the last one, punch. And then you feed it up the central channel and don't go to the end. Get it so these two end corners are going up against the slanty edges. Just touch in and that's that's the shape that you get and then you take your bone folder and you just curl these bits here to form the nice bow shape bend that out on the on the crease and then we'll get a bit of a T-sif for the centre there. That was well planned out. There we go. Just going to use a bit of fast fuse. And then you stick that down in the centre. And the other side down in the centre. And you've got a nice bow. That one went slightly dodge because I decided to do it live but you can just trim that edge a tad and no I'm done and there we have it and then you just need to do a little bit of a center so got a little bit a little strip there this is half an inch it's one and a half inches probably doesn't need to be that big in fact it doesn't so i'm going to just take my long scissors and lob a bit off that so it's more like three eighths now well it's more like quarter of an inch really so I'll just put a bit on each end of this. Wrap it round. Trim that end a bit because that's too long. And wrap that around. And that's my little bow. I'm sure I've somehow managed to fold that too far. Do you know? Never work with animals or children or do life crafting. Because that's not worked as well. I've done something wrong. There, nearly done it. <laughs> oh dear. I went slightly wrong. I don't quite know what I've done wrong there. But um, yeah. I was going to do it in a different size, but now it's gone wrong. I maybe won't. <laughs> oh dear so that's what it should look like I did it right on the video there
It's what it should look like. Okay, thank you for joining me. Just wanted to tell you as well that we're running a current offer of um, buy, um, buy three p uh, packs of DSP, get one free. So you get four. Four for the price of three on current catalogue, not an, not the annual catalogue, not the awesome winter catalogue and not the speciality papers. So um, all details, um, if you go to my shop, it'll be it'll be there. Okay. Thanks for watching me today. See you again soon.